friends, it's Amanda here from Hi. Fun Hands On Learning. we're going to talk about money teaching our students how to count their coins and what I have done is I have made up a song to go along with these posters that I have from my math curriculum so my early learners math curriculum one of the units is all about money and each unit of my math curriculum comes with posters and we do these posters together each and every day as we're working on that unit um, to memorize whatever it is that we're working on. And so, for example, we're memorizing our coin names and their values. And what I did is I made up a song to help the children remember the coins and their values. And this is the song. I'm going to teach it to you today. And I'm going to um, show you how we do it. And then I also have a little clip in here of my students um, doing the song with me as well. All right, so here is the song, and then this way you can use the posters and do the song uh, with your students as well, okay? So here's how it goes. Penny, nickel, diamond, quarter. Penny, nickel, diamond, quarter. Penny, nickel, diamond, quarter. This is our money. A penny is worth one cent, a nickel is worth five cents, a dime is worth ten cents, and a quarter twenty-five. Penny, nickel, dime, and quarter, penny, nickel, dime, and quarter, penny, nickel, dime, and quarter, this is our money. Okay, and then the posters all have um, the coins, the front of the coin, the back of the coin also has the president on there so that the students can get uh, used to the president that they would see on the coin. And we can talk about the front and the back and what they look like and memorize the values, okay? Penny, nickel, diamond, quarter. Penny, nickel, diamond, quarter. what it is and how much it's worth. Are you ready? Yeah. What's this? Nickel. Nickel. A nickel is five. Five cents. All right, let's try another one. Penny. Oh, a penny is one. one cent. Again, 
Roll it right here. Keep it here. What did you get? Penny. A penny. A penny is worth one. One cent. Let's count by ones to fifty. Let's pretend we have fifty pennies. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, Excellent job. All right, roll. Roll, roll, roll. What'd you get? A penny. A penny is worth? One. One. You roll. What'd you get? A nickel. A nickel. A nickel is worth? Five. Five cents. Let's count by fives. Here we go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Okay, here's a closer look up of these posters that I have. Um, and I printed them out on an A5 size, which is a smaller size, and I put a little book ring on them, and that way we could hook them on to um, our poster board or wherever we want it, and we can flip through them. But you can print them out regular size. They come in the bigger uh, eight and a half by 11 size, and you can print them out in that size as well. And um, each of the units in this curriculum come with posters that reinforce what you're teaching the students. So those are a good resource. Okay, so here are a few of the activities that come with this um, curriculum. We have puzzles, and what the students do is they actually count and then they match up the coins. So one side of the piggy bank has coins. This is our dimes, and they would count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then they would have to find the right amount. This one says 80, so that wouldn't be it. But this one says 60, and then they would put the, you know, put the puzzles together. The coin puzzles also have these that are really good for teaching the basics. So you have the word, and then you're gonna have them find the front of the coin and the amount. And I really like using these all together. So if you have a classroom and you have like an Elmo machine that can project, 
I would put these puzzles on the projector and then what I would do is I would call students up to the board and have them find the right pieces and put them in the puzzle and then we would talk about penny is worth one cent and have them match them up uh, if you're not doing a whole class and you have just a few students like I do since I am homeschool mom now, I used to be a classroom teacher, but since I'm a homeschool mom now, I would um, then just do the puzzles together with my students as we are learning um, the names and the amounts. And this is just a fun way to reinforce it and it's a great, actually, it's good for introducing the concept, okay? So maybe the first or second day that you introduce coins, you could do these puzzles because um, they're just so basic and they're a great memory tool, okay? So these ones particularly are good for introduction and then these ones are good to do towards the end of the unit when students already know how to count their money and then they can, you know, obviously match up the coins and count them, okay? Another fun activity that comes with this unit is the zoo, find and cover with coins. And there are lots of zoo cards and what the students do is you use real coins. I like to always have real coins on hand and then the students cover them up. So here's a dime, they'd have to find a dime to cover up 10 cents. They'd have to find a penny to cover up the one that says one cent. What we're gonna do is you're gonna have to find the coin and cover up the right money. For example, this is a penny. So where would it go on the, on the zoo? Which one says one cent for penny? This one. One cent, so you would put the penny on it. No, I want Just like that, this. for example, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put some money out here. Can you grab what you are supposed to put on your card? want to have real coins out for is this one. What students do is they roll a die and here I rolled a penny and then they place a penny in their piggy bank. They're going to roll it three times. So here I rolled a quarter so I have to find a quarter, place it in my piggy bank and I roll one more time and this time I got a nickel. I'm going to place that in my piggy bank. And then after they have rolled three times, they have to be able to count their amount and then they're gonna record it on these um, cards. Here you can see we've used a dry erase marker, but you'd ha you would have to laminate these so that they can reuse them. And they're gonna use a dry erase marker and they're gonna write the amount. So here we would count 25, 30, 31. And they would use a dry erase marker and they would write 31 cents. To record their amount on the card. Okay, I'm just gonna really quick go through and just show you a quick glimpse of the rest of the activities. This is my bin I was telling you where I keep time and money uh, unit activities in. Uh, one of the other activity is coin match and cover. So here's another one where um, they would have to look at the coin and then they are going to cover the matching amount. So you could use any manipulatives you want with that one. This one is a roll with dice. So you need to have a die. They would roll a die and then they would have to count the amount. So if they rolled a three, then they would have to count this amount and they're gonna cover it with one of the cards that comes with the activity here. And um, this is a fun one too. Directions come with all the activities. So I know I'm going through it fast. So if you're confused, um, when you download the activities, directions come with it. And this little direction card, I always um, print them out on label paper and I stick them right on the bag where I keep the activities so I know how to do it. And there's always picture examples too. So I really like that. 
This one is coin sort and feed. This is really fun. It comes with these animals and you attach them to um, a little basket or a bin and then they have to feed the coin into the right animal. So this one's super cute. Then we have our coin clip cards. Everybody's seen clip cards before. You can use clips or you can use um, manipulatives to cover up your answer, but they would just flip through and they would have to cover up the correct answer. Here is finding the back of the coin, the matching back to the front, and then you have amounts and so on. And this last activity is a flower shop and students are going to be buying flowers, obviously pretend flowers, they're on the cards. It has an amount for how much the flower is worth and then they have to count out the amount on their flower shop um, card. And it's, it's really cute as well. So those are, I think, most of the activities that come in the money unit. Obviously, you can see that now we're getting into the time unit. So I'm not going to go through those in this video, but telling time is another really great um, unit of this curriculum that we enjoy because the activities are just so hands-on and fun. All right, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. I enjoy um, interacting with you in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. It all helps uh, me to be able to continue to bring content to you. And as always, happy learning. Bye.